a quaint corner of a bustling city, tucked away behind ivy-clad walls, lies the studio of Lorenzo, the self-proclaimed master of modern portraiture. Lorenzo is a man of peculiar habits and grand ambitions. He always wakes up at 6.47 a.m. precisely, drinks his coffee black with three cubes of sugar, and listens to classical music while preparing his canvas. Lorenzo is particular about his brushes. Each one has a name and a specific purpose. There's a Vivaldi for the delicate strokes, Michelangelo for the bold lines, and Da Vinci for the intricate details. He never lets anyone touch them, not even his closest acquaintances. Ah, Vivaldi, we have work to do today. He insists that the paint he uses must be mixed in exact proportions, a secret only he knows. Lorenzo believes himself to be an artist beyond compare, a true visionary in a world of mediocrity. He often spends hours in front of his mirror, perfecting his artistic expressions and gestures, which he believes are crucial to his creative process. He also has a peculiar habit of talking to his paintings, as if they were old friends. You, my dear, will be a masterpiece. Just wait and see. He believes this adds a certain je ne sais quoi to his work. Lily lives in a charming apartment filled with plants and sunlight. She wakes up with the sun, drinks her tea with a splash of milk and a spoonful of honey, and listens to folk music as she waters her plants. She loves the smell of fresh bread, the laughter of children playing in the park, and the vibrant colors of flowers at the market. She collects postcards from places she's never been and then dreams of traveling the world someday. One day, I'll visit all these places. Just wait and see. She loves to take impromptu walks through the city, discovering hidden cafes and secret gardens. She loves to dance, especially in the rain. There's something magical about it, she thinks. The way the world seems to come alive with every drop. But more than anything, Lily loves pottery. She delights in the messy, tactile experience of shaping clay, finding beauty in every lopsided vase and uneven bowl she creates. For Lily, pottery is not about perfection. It's about the process, the feel of the clay between her fingers, the thrill of creating something unique. She believes that true beauty lies in the flaws, in the moments of chaos that bring unexpected joy. It's the little flaws that make them special. But in this vast city full of little flaws, and in a time where the vibrancy of life seemed to wane, both Lorenzo and Lily found themselves trapped in a gray haze, their once vibrant worlds now dulled by a shared sense of inertia. Lorenzo, the meticulous artist, felt his passion slipping away. His precise routines, once a source of comfort and inspiration, now seemed stifling. Each action felt mechanical, devoid of meaning. What's the point anymore? The colors that once sang to him now fell silent. Each portrait he painted seemed like it was of the same person, each stroke a reminder of the void within. He rearranged his brushes endlessly, seeking comfort in their order but finding none. Lily, the lover of spontaneity, felt her own spark fading. The joy she once found in her pottery had vanished, leaving her creations lifeless and uninspired. Her adventures felt routine, her laughter subdued. 
Why does everything feel so dull? Lily wandered the city, seeking the excitement she used to find in unexpected places. But each cafe felt the same, each park less vibrant. Her sketches were uninspired, her plants wilting from neglect. Why can't I find the inspiration I once had? Where did all the joy go? And so, in a bustling city filled with contrasts, the paths of Lorenzo and Lily were destined to cross.